I am truly blown away right now. I just saw X-Men Dark Phoenix, and I thought this film was fucking great. And I don't know what drugs everyone else is on, or maybe I'm on the drugs, and that's why I thought it was good and when it's objectively bad. I don't know. I don't think I'm on drugs right now. Not that I'm aware of anyway. But I'm literally so impressed by that movie. I thought it was really, 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 really good. I think it is top three of that franchise, you know, since first class and such. Granted, there hasn't been that many movies there, but I thought it was really excellent. I really, really did. Now, granted, I had my expectations super low. I mean, I saw all the reviews that said the movie was shit, and I was totally contextualizing that. I was like, okay, this movie's gonna be bad, and I'm like telling, you know, and myself, I'm like, no, it's gonna be really, really bad, and like everyone else that I know that saw it, that is like in the industry and YouTube and whatever, reviewers, I talked to them that saw it early, and they're like, yeah, it's really, really, really bad. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm bracing myself, and I thought the movie was, like, baller. I thought it was so good. Now, there are uh, problems with it. I, th I felt that it ended fairly abruptly. I won't get into spoilers, but I didn't necessarily feel as though it wrapped. It's a great, like, end piece to this entire Fox X-Men sort of universe, but... If I'm being honest, I think that this is a movie that Disney might not ever make. And as a result, just watching the movie, I thought that it was incredible. I mean, seeing the Jean Grey character arc in this movie is so good. It is really, really good. And also seeing some of the other character arcs. Some of the other supplemental characters that we've seen detailed in great depth in the past were not necessarily built up excellently uh, in this film. However... I, like, just my gut reaction is honestly, like, everybody's tripping, or I'm tripping, but I really love this movie to the point, like, I want to watch it again tomorrow. That's how good I thought it was. Granted, as I said, having your expectations super low and, like, telling yourself over and over again it's going to be the worst thing you've ever seen in your life, that's helpful. It really is. Like, like honestly, I think most entertainment, if you convince yourself enough that it's going to be horrible, your expectations are, I mean, my expectations were, like seven feet under like they were so low I just like was taking the L on this movie ticket and I'm like oh it's gonna be terrible but there was a little bit of hope that I had that um you know look I watched Batman v Superman and two days before Batman v Superman came out I saw nothing but horrible reviews for the movie everyone was telling me how horrible it was gonna be that's what all the reviewers had to say there were a few DC like true shills and fans I'm a DC shill and fan but there were people like me that saw it and thought that it was good. But for the most part, like, people that weren't really into the comics or just, like, general reviewers, most people were saying the movie was terrible. Same thing with Suicide Squad. Granted, Suicide Squad, I'm not saying it's, like, a masterpiece or whatever. But I thought that it was really good. And I also enjoyed that movie. So, um, this is not to say that I, like, love every comic book movie I see. I think that a lot of comic book movies I see, I find it to be just kind of average. Like, even Infinity War, I felt was pretty meh. Especially, like, looking back on it. Now, Endgame was incredible. But to be honest, I think that this movie... If I'm being totally honest, like, people are going to think that I'm on meth. I'm not saying it's better than Endgame. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, is that it's, like, on the same... It's in the same universe. Like, it's not, it's, it's not like, totally out there, like, way worse than Endgame. Uh, there are things about Endgame that I enjoyed much more... Or, excuse me, than, than this film. But I also... There are things about this film I enjoy much more than Endgame. Like, seeing in the first act of the film, not really any spoilers, but just them kind of hanging out at, you know, the Xavier School and just, like, hanging out there and and um, just, like, seeing all of those character beats and moments. And um, I thought that there were some really great moments in the film. Uh, I thought that the character arc for Jean Grey was really, really, really good. I thought the music was phenomenal. The action was pretty good. There were some shaky CGI moments in there, but for the most part, it was quite good. Um, the music score was incredible by Hans Zimmer. He always does a fantastic job and really elevated the action and made every moment feel really great, especially in the third act. Some of the action is phenomenal. Um, do I want to get into spoilers? Um... I will not get into spoilers, but there were some strong similarities between this film and other um, MCU film plot lines and stuff like that that I thought were replicated much better, and, and these were plot lines that I was not expecting in this film. Um, I just truly am blown away. I don't understand the... No like. People were saying that this is the worst X-Men movie ever made. It's one of the worst comic book movies ever made. I mean, like... What? Have you seen? Have you seen Green Lantern? Have you seen it? 
because in no unit like this movie is infinitely better than the worst comic book movies ever made like the green lanterns and the daredevils with ben affleck like it is so much better so much better i'm not saying it's the best comic book movie ever made i'm saying it's really really good in my opinion so go out and watch for yourselves i would love to read your comments and see like what about this movie bothered you there were great character beats now a lot of people i saw like i watched angry joe's review and he said the movie was boring and nothing happened I just don't really understand that complaint. Yes, it is not as high action as the other uh, movies because it's a character piece. And it's also uh, sort of, there's a lot of character moments between a lot of the you know X-Men characters that are not necessarily uh, super high action. It is not like the final act of Avengers Endgame. However, the action in the movie is really good. The character beats are really good. The Jean Grey stuff is so good. It really made you feel for that character. And... Um, I just, I, I'm shook. And I'm not shook because, well, I, I'm partially shook by how good the movie was, but I'm really shook by, like, how negative fans have been around this movie. I really don't get it. Um, so, I hope you don't watch this video and then go into the movie with, like, moderate expectations. Because I want you to go into the movie like I did, with horrible expectations, and then be pleasantly surprised. So, if you can, unwatch this video. Just pretend like you didn't watch it. Go see X-Men, and I promise I'm not trolling. Like, people are going to say that I'm trolling, but I, I swear to God I'm not. I really, really love this movie. It is one of the best X-Men movies, and it is it is a pretty good finale to the series. The good parts about the movie are the character stuff, some of the character um, developments, and as a sort of final chapter to this Fox X-Men, tr uh, not trilogy, but X-Men series, it's not necessarily remarkable in that way it's not it, it is no avengers endgame and wrapping up that x-men universe however there are things about it that are really 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 good really good and um oh i love this movie i really love it i i am i am not trolling i swear on my life i really love this movie and uh granted i love hans zimmer so anything that he scores is like an automatic seven out of ten you can't get below seven out of ten with hans zimmer scores playing in the background really but um no, I mean, this is one of my best movie experiences of the year, truthfully. Um, there are many comic book movies that I think some people... Like, I think that this movie is better than Civil War. I think that this movie is better than Infinity War. I think that this movie is better than um, some DC comic book movies. Perhaps I would say that it's better than Aquaman. Um, because there, it, it really just engaged me. Like, I was really just enthralled in that, in that world the entire film. And... Um, I thought that it had me on the edge of my seat. That's one thing. The biggest complaint I have about comic book movies, and I'm getting to ramble at this point, but the biggest complaint I have is that they're too predictable. And that we know exactly what's going to happen. They follow the same three-act structure. And uh, like I'm not saying everything in the movie is a plot twist. There are certainly some things that you see coming. But there are some big surprises in the film. There are. There are some big surprises. And... Um, I was like on the edge of my seat and especially in the third act like thinking it was going to go one way and then go another way and I kept flip-flopping in my head and I just I love this movie I really do I I really really do and I'm just gonna end the video there because I'm just gonna keep fanboying over it but um wow I mean whatever like whatever cocaine you guys were on when you saw this movie to think that it was horrible I well okay that doesn't make sense I wouldn't want to be on that drug I want to be on whatever drug I'm on watching this movie because I just um, wow. I really, really loved it. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And also, I'm just kidding about being on drugs. I'm really not. Uh, although, people are going to say that I am. Like, there's no way you can enjoy this movie and, uh, like, be sober. And I promise I am. I am <laughs> literally just trolling. Um, no, I'm just, I'm just messing around. But anyway, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. My name is Slick Moff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.